Hello friends, today I am going to cover Odoo 19 manufacturing with subcontracting order. So how exactly we are going to capture entire journey and its accounting impact with inventory valuation. So let me show you the configuration which I have done. Inside our inventory, what we have done is first in our virtual location of production, I have set cost of production account. And then in general accounting setup, I have changed things to perpetual accounting with average costing and general inventory valuation journal and accounts. And inside our chart of account, now I have done is separate inventory valuation for finished good and inventory valuation for raw material accounts as well as in our cost of revenue account, I have registered cost of goods sold, finished good, cost of raw material, variation account, finished good and variation account, raw material, those four accounts. And inside our inventory valuation, finished good, current asset account, I have set cost of goods sold, finished good as an expense and variation account as variation account FG. The same way for inventory valuation, raw material, current asset account, I have added cost of raw materials and expense account and variation account that has to be raw material. So this is our setup and once this setup is done, what I have done, I have registered our product category and then I have done manufacturing FG as a one category with the same setup and cost of goods sold as FG and inventory valuation FG over here and product sales account and inside that I have registered finished goods one as a product where manufacturing and empty or outs are enabled and it compute price from bill of material. Second thing is I have registered another category like raw material with cost of raw material as an expense account and inventory version RM as a stock valuation account and inside that I have registered three product raw material one RM1, RM2 and SFG. Inside my SFG I have made purchase subcontracting with subcontracting enable and inside my bill of material I have enabled subcontracting with RM1 and RM2. Now with that we have check also semi finished good and then what we have done is inside my category everything is set now and then let's made a purchase. So my purchase will go to RM1 where I am buying 10 units and RM2 which I am buying again 10 units. So over here I confirm my order, I do receive this RM1, RM2 and to hit my balance sheet I should register you know the thing. So over here let me switch to manufacturing 2 where no accounting entries has been made and then once I go to my purchase, purchase order, I can create a bill. After I confirm my bill, inventory valuation will be registered over here. So in my accounting balance over here, in my reporting and balance sheet, now I can see cost of raw material like inventory valuation raw material is over here. There is no impact in profit and loss at the moment. Now according to our setup, inside my inventory and inside my product the semi finished good product will be you know replenish an order and buy with subcontracting vendor and then finished good the finished good one is manufacturing MTO so I register my sales order first with my customer 2 so finish good one, I am going to sell with $1000. As soon as I register my sales order, it will trigger one MO and based on MO, it will trigger one purchase order. So over here in semi finish good one is not available, but RM1 and RM2 are component in main manufacturing order is available. Now subcontracting order will be made and as soon as I confirm, system will register one resupply and a receipt of my finished goods. So in resupply, 
I can go and resupply my material. So material is going out. Now if we check our balance sheet and positioning, there is no impact. Nothing is registered because I haven't registered my uh, vendor bill. Without vendor bill, it will not register any valuation entry. In my review, still I can see nothing over here. <clears throat> now in receipt, I am going to receive semi finished good one. And then what I will do, I will go to my purchase. And then for this particular purchase order, I will register. Before that, let me see. There is no impact. Nothing is there till now. As soon as I create a bill for this particular semi finished good, it will hit my inventory valuation. So over here, now we can see inside our balance sheet, the raw material has decreased with 50 and 60 and in return, I have got 210 worth of semi finished good. So this is perfect. So semi finished good, I have, I have you know, already I register $100 of debit as well as $210 worth of semi finished good where my account is only crediting $110 and $100 goes to another account. So over here in profit and loss there is no impact in balance sheet there is no impact till now but cost of production hits because it's going into virtual account and it has a difference of 100 so 50 and 60 worth of raw material go to subcontracting and in return I receive 210 worth of material. So $100 keeps open as a balance over here. Now let's go and finish our manufacturing order. So in my manufacturing order now what it will do it will have semi finished good RM1 and RM2 as all the raw material which is already and I will say produce and my finished goods is out. So over here now if I refresh my balance sheet I will have $320 worth of finished good with me. Okay and it has a credit entry against cost of production per our configuration. And with RM1 now it will again consume semi finished good raw material 1 and raw material 2 3 materials over here. So this 3 material will be consumed and then in our profit and loss, there is no impact till now. In my review report, this $100 of open balance will plan to register a credit entry worth $100 of cost of production uh, worth subcontracting $100. Okay, so that $100 is still open. Okay, which goes to stock variation account. Now in my sales, I will go and deliver this item. As soon as I deliver, I can generate my invoice and then I can register my sales as well as cost of goods sold and valuation account credit entry. So this is working perfectly fine. If I see my accounting report of balance sheet, now finished good is gone off and my raw material is also consumed. And over here, this subcontracting vendor $100 will create a variation entry in our journal. So everything is perfectly fine and in my review now I can see $100 to set off. So if we create this journal entry then this cost of <coughs> you know production account we have to set off over here. So if I go to valuation and then I generate an entry so it will give us an impact of you know variation account for RM and cost of raw material it is just create passing an entry which doesn't make any sense as of now but this inventory valuation and variation account worth hundred dollar over here before I confirm this entry if we go to accounting and balance sheet this cost of production has minus hundred means it's a credit okay so over here let's say I have to settle my valuation account of RM. Okay, so in my balance sheet, the valuation account of RM, which has this hundred dollar of debit, which I have to set off against, you know, cost of production entry. So 
this inventory valuation rm will credit and my cost of production if i pass this entry and i go to my ledger and balance sheet this cost of production account has been settled against this raw material value of 100 to set off this particular 100 dollar of amount and if i rerun my review report yeah it will not leave me off it again create the entry over here so that entry will not work my friends so i am removing that stock closing entry from here which we have just just generated and then i can do my regular inventory valuation and generate the regular entry so having said that this particular cost of production account remain open which we have to set off with our expense so in my profit and loss my cost of raw material i can register that particular entry so what we can do we can create a manual journal entry but i don't think so it will work but let's try so subcontracting settlement entry and i will go cost of production worth 100 debit against cost of raw material once i am done with that and if i check cost of production is gone against our cost of raw material account over here now if i rerun my valuation yeah it will still open those entries again so this way it is not working and it keeps open my this cost of production entry like this so this is the one thing which will remain as a cost of production so let me do one thing if i move this cost of production not in current account and let me move that to cost of revenue then everything will be sold so in my balance sheet now everything is clear and in my profit and loss now cost of production will be part of cost of sales okay and this hundred dollar worth entry will be there because of the difference of that vendor bill of subcontracting which will be there only so this is how i think we can work by configuring cost of production as an expense type account and we can see entire summary over here in our profit and loss and not the balance sheet part so guys this is how i think we can configure the odoo manufacturing with subcontracting process hope this will help many people to configure odoo 19 with entire cycle of all the raw material and finished goods account with variation account and see how exactly we work with odoo 90. if you have any question reach out to me on linkedin youtube or email thank you guys have a good day